Today, we are talking about ovulation, fertilization, and implantation. In the follicular phase of your menstruation cycle, rising levels of the hormone estrogen cause the ovary to develop and your egg is matured. It is released from the ovary. It is ovulation. The egg then moves down the fallopian tube where it waits for sperm. A man may ejaculate 40 million to 150 million sperm, which travel through the vaginal canal and cervix. From here, the sperm swim through the uterus and into one of the fallopian tubes on their mission to fertilize an egg. The strongest and fastest swimming sperm make it to the fallopian tube and reach the egg. Only one sperm to penetrate the extracellular matrix of the zona pellucida that surrounds the egg can meet egg and succeed fertilization. After fertilization, they start having cell division through the process of mitosis. It begins to divide into two cells, then four cells, then more cells as the division continues, as the fertilized egg continues to move down the fallopian tube. The fertilized egg has traveled to the uterus and has become a growing cluster of about 100 cells called a blastocyst. Meanwhile, they move from fallopian tube to uterus. A week after the sperm has fertilized the egg, they reach the uterus as a blastocyst. The blastocyst then attaches itself to the lining of the uterus, the endometrium. This attachment process is called implantation. This attachment to the uterine lining is what allows the embryo to receive oxygen and nutrients from the mother and continue to progress and grow into a fetus. As soon as the implantation is complete, the embryo begins to produce the hormone HCG. This is the hormone that turns a pregnancy test positive. HCG plays an important role in early pregnancy. Release of the hormones estrogen and progesterone causes the endometrium to thicken, which provides the nutrients the blastocyst needs to grow. For the first seven weeks, a developing baby is referred to as an embryo. The embryo's eyes, ears, nose, spine, digestive tract, and nervous system are beginning to form. The tube for the future heart starts beating. The second trimester is a time of rapid growth for your baby. The lungs, heart, and blood systems are also developed during this three-month period. Your little one will get a whole lot larger in the third trimester. Growing from the third trimester is a time of steady growth as your baby matures and gets ready for birth. As your baby gains weight, fat is stored under the skin. You will meet your baby soon and get a happy family.